My name is Art Kaplan, and I'm a research lab associate here at the Getty Conservation Institute. We've had about 185 years now a history of chemical photography, and during that span, there's been over 150 different photographic processes that have been invented, modified, improved on, eventually displaced by other processes, and that information of the original process is often forgotten. And so it's critical, especially for the work we're doing, to try to document this information now, especially as we transition to digital photography and less and less chemical or analog photography is being performed and a lot of that information is being lost. And so that's where this whole idea of developing this atlas of analytical signatures to help with the identification of photographic processes came from. Basically a photographic process is a set of procedures and materials used to create a photographic image. It's important to know what a photographic process is because if you don't know what you have, you're not going to know how to conserve it, how to store it, how to exhibit it without causing potential damage to the object. The idea behind the atlas was that it would really serve as a bridge between the curator and the scientist. In the opening of the atlas, we talk about the instrumentation we use for all our analysis. We use a series of scientific techniques, including microscopy, X-ray fluorescence analysis, uh, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy to really identify the chemical and elemental makeup of a photograph. In some cases, the processes are very related, and so it's really almost impossible with current scientific instrumentation to distinguish between two types of print. But in the large majority of cases, they are very unique to the particular process and the post-processing chemistry. A conservator would really benefit primarily from the result obtained from the scientific analysis. The analysis would point to the conservator what type of material the photograph is sitting on, whether it's paper, what's in that paper. It's going to point out what kind of photographic process was used, how stable some of those materials are. So this would identify kind of all those layers, which are critical for a conservator to know before they apply any kind of treatment to a photograph. The big thrill is always kind of finding out something new, something different, doing something for the first time that no one's really had a chance to do. And it's really those kind of curiosities, and not so much the answers we obtain. Sometimes it's the questions we're left with that really kind of spark an interest in what we're doing.